excuse me. Oh, all right, let me see what we're dealing with here. It's a lion! Run for your life, Wait, Boomba! No, 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 no. Disney is looking to wake up a sleepy box office season with the debut of Jon Favreau's The Lion King. If pre-release tracking is any indication, the Disney tentpole will easily earn $150 million or more in its North American debut. Globally, it should finish the weekend with a total $400 million to $450 million after opening to $54 million in China last weekend. The Lion King uses groundbreaking photorealistic CG animation in recreating the classic 1994 animated film. Now, to be fair, it's been a mixed bag with critics, the movie's current Rotten Tomatoes score resting at 59%, but The Mouse House is betting that the all-star production will bring box office gold. The star-studded voice cast includes Donald Glover, Beyonce, Seth Rogen, Alfre Woodard, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Billy Eichner, John Kenny, and John Oliver. James Earl Jones reprises his original role as Mufasa. Remember who you are. Mm, even Disney knows there's only one Mufasa. If the projections hold, this would be a real boon for Disney's future live-action outings. Outside of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, only three of Disney's live-action titles have opened north of 100 million, including Beauty and the Beast. Jon Favreau's The Jungle Book debuted to 103.3 million, while Alice in Wonderland started off with 116 million. After unfurling early in China, The Lion King has its opening day in almost every foreign market this weekend, with the exception of Hong Kong, where it will open on July 25th, Japan on August 9th, and Italy on August 1st, and the pride is definitely excited for this global takeover. The Lion King is clearly the king of the jungle, at least from Hollywood's perspective, as no other film dared to open nationwide against the faithful remake, which will surely serve to increase Disney's market share following a summer blockbuster hits Aladdin and Avengers Endgame, with Endgame close to surpassing Avatar to become the top grossing film of all time, not adjusted for inflation. To find out if Simba has what it takes at the box office, keep it locked to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Ben Myers.